They thought I was getting a great deal and I it wasn't what I thought it was. It and welcome back Fire Addicts to another episode of Travis Says Fire today. We're getting firewood. Dig it. So fall, so I'm, I, I'm driving, I'm being safe. So my camera's in my hand. So it's, it's, summer is, is fast the ending, or ending very quickly, right? And um, I am aware that I am low on inventory. So, I mean, I, I think I mentioned before, I'm always uh, scouring um, Marketplace uh, to be able to buy firewood. Now, a lot of you are like not anti buying wood. It's just you're so focused on getting free wood, free logs, free whatever that I think. And, and again, I'm not telling you what to do. This is this is just how I'm approaching it. This is how I'm using how how I view it in my opinion. But you can do what you want, right? In your own, own in your own wood yard. If I can get wood on the cheap and I can flip it or wood on the cheap and I don't sell it at all, I burn it, that is that is still worth it to me. Because due to the fact that I have I don't have a dump I don't have a dump trailer myself. I do not have a pro grade splitter. I have my my big box single wedge uh, splitter. And it it it's um, I don't even know I'm on ship drop whatever I don't get free wood delivered to my house very often okay so if I could find wood on the cheap then I'm gonna do that so wood on the cheap and in in my in my opinion is anything that I can get my hands on for like 150. $200 um, a cord. Ideally, that would be delivered, but if you're gonna pay $150 for a cord, even when it's, especially when it's dry or advertised as dry or on the way towards being dry and you gotta go pick it up, I think that's still worth it. I think that that is still, still worth because in terms of how long it takes how long it takes you to get the wood, buck the wood, split the wood, stack the wood, let it dry, that takes time. Especially for a lot of us that don't have a pro gauge splitter, or you have like your your 16 inch whatever pulling uh, um, uh, uh, chainsaw, um, it, it, it takes time to be able to process a cord of wood, period. Um, yes, there are those out there that you're watching on YouTube, they got pro-grade this and pro-grade that. Well, that's not the reality for a lot of us woodhounds. A lot of us are, are, are skimming by because we need several cords per fall, per the winter, to be able to make sure that ourselves and our loved ones are warm and cozy and over the cold season. Maybe, maybe maybe you all don't sell. So, um, I'll throw a picture up on the screen. This guy had, this guy had um, a cord of fur, but he was sta it was, it was, it, 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 I'm not sure how we gauged it because it was thrown into a pile um, before on Marketplace for 200. And now he has this other ad, it's for 150, and it's split fur, and then some other like I think it's maple, but it's like branch, but branch, but the maple's like in branches. Well, I could resplit the branches in theory, and sell that for bundle wood. But from the images that were posted online, it doesn't look like it's good quality. The branches, so I I don't have time. I have little time to go pick up wood, but I couldn't. Pass up this offer, so I made time this afternoon to get this wood. Now, I, my, my dad, my parents, their dump trailer was available last week. It, 
I texted my dad this morning or yesterday morning asking about his trailer and it said well, it was half full full of debris garbage to go to the dump fair enough this is it's it's it's, it's his trailer so I'm borrowing his five by eight uh, utility trailer that is that it can hold I think half a quarter at a time stacked so because it's not as tall and it's, it's ladder duty I don't want to over 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 weigh this trailer so because it's not mine right um, and it doesn't dump so having to hand load half on uh, ha hand unload which is a bummer but uh, that just goes to show you the potential debate if you got some money saved up from firewood sales or you sold a boat or whatever you have this this this, this chunk of change or you want to pull the trigger but you're not sure which one to go after between an upgraded splitter and a dump trailer this goes to show you on that the pro and con list trailer I think almost hits every time because then you could is there's just so many cons to it so that's where I'm still leaning I I, I have some trigger change coming soon so hopefully Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get a, get a dump trailer. I think that's where, where where my head is leaning towards. Anyway, beyond that random spiel, we're gonna go pick up a cord of wood. Now I'm hoping it's a cord of wood for $150, and I have to pick it up. Now it's in my hometown, but I didn't look at the address until just now. It's on like the outskirts, like out in the boonies in my hometown. So it's still like I don't know, 15 minutes away which is not that big of a deal in the scheme of things it, it's still it's still close by uh so this this should work out should work out fine and uh so we'll see how it goes hopefully i can film but yeah that's my so uh, and i have no clue where i'm gonna put this i don't know if i'm gonna stack it or a pilot i don't even know the moisture content but we're gonna figure that out soon together on this adventure of finding cheap wood and whether or not you're gonna burn it yourself or flip it because in the philosophy of burn the crap sell the good stuff that's what we're gonna do and if it's gonna be half good stuff and half crap well we're gonna we're gonna burn the crap and we're gonna sell the good stuff and we're, we're probably gonna to come out on top due to the fact that I smell I sell small quantities of wood so hope i hope that the quality is there at least for half of it so uh we'll see how this goes
few moments later. I loaded this up and then my, my camera died. You didn't see the full load. Um, the guy, so a few days later because I was so, I was so pissed off um, after leaving that, that customer or that, that sale, I, I just, I just needed to come home and, and chill and not, not continue filming. Um, so the ad was for a cord of wood and I, it's, it's on me. I didn't ask enough questions. Now, when you, in my opinion, and I could be wrong, you tell me down in the comments. When you buy something, especially on like OfferUp or um, Craigslist or, or Marketplace, you want to ask questions. Not everyone has all the information there on the ad, right? <clears throat> so you want to ask questions. But this is for firewood. If it's a really short, um, if it's a really short description, you want to ask questions. But I don't want to ask too many questions to upset the person who's on the other end. This is my opinion. Um. Not wanting to kill the sale or whatever. See the bunny right there? Bunny right there. These bunnies love my firewood. They're always in it. There's a bunny right there. That's funny. Um. So I asked the guy that a few questions, and it was like older wood on the bottom, and then like a newly split wood fur on top. And he assumed the stuff on bottom was also fur. I get there, and I ask him, okay, so. Because I didn't, ask, so that's all really I asked him. And the following day, I pinged him to have me come. I gave him his address. Um, I had him come down in price from 200 to 150 for the cord because the bottom looked pretty um, old. So I thought that was going to be punky and garbage, which a lot of it was or is. I go there, I look at it, and I'm like, yeah, this is not. It's not a cord. So, so, so he, I didn't want to bring out my phone, but he, but he told me, I asked him how long, I'll, I'll show a picture for you here, how long the, the length of it. It was only one, one, one more stack right, right up against the fence, right? It said that it was 27 uh, feet long. Now, and it's maybe like three foot high ish. Only one row, and the lengths vary. At least on the the top, newly split fur is from like I don't know, 20 inches down to like 12 or so. There, it was all over the place, which is not his fault. I think my local utility company cut down a tree in his yard and left the rounds, so he, he just he spent what he had, right, and then stacked it. Other pieces that were older were more or less at 16. So I did a calculation. There's a bunch of apps. Or sites online where you can plug in the inches and in feet uh, to measure the cubic feet of a uh, of what you have um, like, like like stacked wood. This this was not even less than a half a cord. I filled up my 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 uh, my, uh, my, uh, my parents five by eight by what is it I don't know two feet um, a, 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 a utility trailer loosely stacked. It was full, probably at, at, at the max in terms of weight on it. And it was dry wood, so it was, I was not concerned. If it was going to be a green wood, that would be a different story. But, but because it was dry, I was not, 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 not that concerned. And it towed fine. But all the wood fit. If it was a full cord, I would have had to made two trips with that trailer. And I know that from experience. That, I know that because I measured the trailer. And I don't want to go heaping over, right? Because it's not mine and it's not made for heavy loads. So here's the wood. The bottom part is this stuff here. And I, I want to say this is like, it looks like a bark. It looks like a, like an apple or like a, like, um, maybe a cherry maybe or an alder. But it, the, the stuff that's good has some weight to it. The other stuff, as, as I mentioned, this fur is like, that's a good two feet or so here and then. Other pieces. This is a perfect piece right here. This is fine, good to go. But a lot of it was like branches, like this stuff, like more branches. This is this is fine for like campfire wood. Fine for campfire wood. Just branches here, some punky wood from the bottom, like punky then rotten. Um, just like here's more punky that came with it here. 
like off off splits a, a, a cookie there long pieces um and like some rounds like the old, older pieces have like mushrooms on them because they're, they're on the ground and then there's full rounds stuff with like branches cut up um punky rotted there so i know a lot of you feel that i complain a lot on the channel and maybe you're right so i'm not going to complain about this this load this is a stack here and what i'm going to do is learn as use this as a learning moment for myself and hopefully advise others out there watching this now at least for me when i see wood that is not too good to be true in terms of the wood and the price just like it seems like a good deal if that cord would have been a full cord and i got bought it for 150 dollars and it was dry awesome sweet that would have been great but it was actually uh half a cord um less than half a cord and a lot of it i can't sell anything that's punky or short and full rounds like this one i'll just burn i'll burn myself i'll burn them in 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 my own stove right away so i basically paid for my own firewood now this stuff that's long like these pieces here i'll sell those right away as bonfire wood i'll mix it in with other pieces because they're long bonfire wood does not need to be a 16 or even shorter or whatever else they're like longer oblong pieces that are great for, to make a big fire outside and i and, and, and i still do sell that now and into winter that does still sell so i that's still money there's some pieces in here that i can sell for bundle wood maybe rack wood but some of it that's not a 16 or not that quality i'll burn this 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 coming fall in in my own fireplace so the learning part is asking questions when the ad says this is a half a cord this is a full cord ask well how did you get that measurement um because the pictures will tell you a little bit but pictures can also be deceiving in my opinion so don't get overly excited when you see wood and it seems like a good deal it could be too good to be, to be true so learn i want to use this as a learning moment for for all this out there that when you're buying firewood ask questions now when i communicating with a buyer with my firewood i'm overly communicative but i feel like again like i said like a little like i said before when i'm buying wood i don't want to ask too many questions because like i said i, I don't want to put them off because if i end up um not buying their wood then it was a waste of their time but I it's different on the other end so it maybe maybe I'm over thinking it maybe I'm over analyzing it and that's my fault so and there's other channels and episodes that other people have done on questions to ask and you can go find them and and, and I'll watch them too that's totally fine but like I think one of few of the questions that we need to make sure that we are asking is do the people know the species of the wood if they don't that could be a flag okay not everyone should be selling firewood. There's a lot of one-off sellers out there, and you can get hosed, and you can get good deals. So just watch yourself. Another question is, how how is this with the volume and the amount of wood that they, they claim to be? How do they uh, make that? A guy I bought wood for, from a few years ago literally said, I have an app for it. Okay, you app for you have a what? He had this like cord app that you if you plugged in the measurements of the truck or the trailer, that that would measure the volume. That's the same as a calculator. When you're measuring like a cord by way of like what you can be stacking it in. That that's different than like a pile of wood and claiming that that that's a cord. Um, or like a stack that's one row and claiming that that that's that's a full cord. Now I'm not blaming. I want to make sure that that if the person that I, I bought the wood from is watching this video, I'm not upset at you. I'm not complaining about you. It's it, it it's, it's it's on me. This is my fault that I feel that I spent too much money on this 
on this load and if I do sell a portion of it, I may break even. So it is what it is. So we're gonna ask species. We're gonna ask how they figured out the volume of, of the wood. If the pile, how do they claim that that is gonna be half a cord? How is that pi pile gonna be um, a face cord? How is that pile gonna be two cords? Whatever, whatever it is, how do they know that? If they say, well, I look like a full cord, well, maybe. But by the time that you go there to invest your time and effort to go to where they're at, and you look at it, look at it and inspect the wood, you're more than likely gonna buy it, right? As opposed to going there like, yeah, this wood is crap and not buying it, then all that time that you had to hook up your trailer and then go there, I don't know if it's a watch. Maybe, maybe it's this on me, but you let me know in the comments. But so we're asking, we're asking about species, we're asking about volume, how they calculated it, and then you can ask about um, when it was split, when it was dropped, when it was split, and when it was stacked. Um, I've, I've, I've literally brought a motion meter with me, and the people seem kind of like, they're like, what is that? They don't know what it is, so you can explain. And they could be offended by that. Well, you just wanted to measure, at least, at least on the outside, you could bring an axe too and cut, uh, cut if you in half, but um, see how dry it is. Maybe they're claiming it's seasoned, but you get there and it's like 27%, and you want to burn it now, or you want to sell it now. Well, that's not, by definition, season. That's not, that's not dry, it's burnable, but, you're not, but you, won't get the, you will not get the full potential of, of that wood. So um, there's a few questions. Species, um, and how they came up with, with the calculation of the volume and when it was dropped, when it was uh, split, and when it was stacked or, or, or piled. So there's a few questions. The, again, there's other channels, other episodes that have done questions to ask people when you're buying firewood or selling whatever. Those are just a few of them because there's like a long list of any, every, everything. But I think that would be like the bare minimum um, that you should ask that you can ask so it's a bummer i guess live live and learn and then move forward and don't harp on it too much but i will i was very upset coming home that i i thought i was getting a great deal and i it wasn't what i thought it was it's um it's too bad it's too bad the one-off sellers are it's like i said before it's it's uh either a good bargain or you're going to get host it's 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 one of those two i i've never really found one that's going to be right there in the middle um yeah it's a bummer so thank you for tuning in i appreciate it until next time uh life's too short to be a prick so say kind of another uh rock and roll keep cutting stay safe cheers <laughs>